The Greek island of Lesbos lies in the northeastern Aegean. A Coast Guard vessel enters the harbor, carrying undocumented immigrants captured during the night. Sometimes the Coast Guards catch more than 50 people a day trying to cross the straits between Turkey and Lesbos. Most have been traveling for months to get here, from Iraq or Afghanistan. They're exhausted, afraid, and not welcome. One refugee tells us his boat crashed into the Coast Guard vessel during the night. They were then handed over to the police. Sudden accident with the uh, police officer and came in here. Yes, so all of the people are afraid because uh, what should I do now? Just uh, nearly uh, four hours just thinking what, what should I do now until what should I do? The refugees have risked everything to get here. Out in the Aegean, they slashed their inflatable boats, hoping to be rescued by Greek coast guards. Situated on the southeastern edge of the EU, Greece is the first port of call for many. About 100,000 undocumented immigrants turned up on its shores last year. This small country has been largely left alone to deal with its refugee problem. Greek officials are not willing to say much to us. Only problem. But the situation is evidently getting out of control. At the refugee holding center in the capital of Lesbos, Mytilene, we are turned away repeatedly and can only film from the outside. This camp, surrounded by barbed wire, is the refugees' first impression of Europe. The camp houses up to 800 refugees. There are only two toilets, one doctor, and no legal aid. It's too bad. Really, for God's sake, just take a look inside. You will see people are suffering. There are some of them hanging here since one month and looking forward to make it to outside, you know. And uh, more than 70, 80 person has only one bathroom and uh, the room is very dirty and the mattresses just, you know, very sucks. Everything is bad, you know, situation, the food, the living, we're dying in here. They're cooped up and hidden from the outside world. But Mytilene has a reputation to consider. The town is a magnet for wealthy yacht owners who rent berths in the harbor. Lesbos is a nature lover's paradise, but it has a lesser known darker side, which only people like Ali get to know. Aged 14, he knows the camp well. He says he was beaten by local police. But he also says anywhere is better than going back home. Afghanistan, we can't stay on there because our enemy was there who killed my father. And now my family, they are in Pakistan and my small brother, I miss him a lot. Now he's two years old. How do you see your future? What do you think in a year's time? When yeah. you turn 15, where will you be? What will, what will be? I don't know that. I don't know. Ali tells us his dream is to become a computer specialist and live in Sweden. But people like Ali are among the lucky ones. They've at least managed to reach Europe alive. Gunter Burkhardt, a human rights activist with the NGO Pro Asyl, says many don't make it this far. This is one of the main routes to Europe for refugees from Afghanistan and Iraq. They first go to Istanbul, from Istanbul to the Turkish coast, and from there it's just a few kilometers. They paddle for their lives. Some of them have boats with engines. It's one of the few options available for getting to Europe, but it's extremely dangerous. We read in the papers today that two corpses were washed up on the other side of the island. On Monday there was another one. There are probably many who die while trying to reach Europe. Those who survive the journey and the refugee camp 
are given a ferry ticket to Athens. There they can apply for asylum, which in most cases is rejected. But at this stage, most of the refugees aren't aware of that. It's very, very uh, good day. Because 14 days uh, I was in the cage, in the cage. 